Women under 30 never date down, they only date up, okay? So when a female, especially an attractive female, is still under the age of 30, when she is in the prime of her physical attractiveness, when she is at the height of her SMV, otherwise known as her sexual marketplace value, she will tend to not date down, she will only date up. And this is where you see a woman's hypergamy really play out is in her 20s when she is still young, when she has the ability to get high value guys by the boatload, right? Women under, under 30 really have the world at their fingertips. The world really is their oyster, right? And this is why when I get females messaging me and asking me for advice and they're under the age of you know, let's say 25, right? They're still in their 20s or early 20s or late teens. They ask for my advice. I tell them that, hey, right now you're at the height of your power, right? You're at the height of your power, princess. Do not waste it. Take full advantage of it because you're never going to be able to get these high value guys again later on in life. You'll be able to do it, like say the girl's like 18. I'm like, you might be able to pull this off for the next seven, eight years, right? But after that, it's going to start getting harder and harder. Why? Because you're going to have the next generation of young, hot girls coming in to take your place. And a lot of people don't like when I say that, right? Get a lot of haters in my comment section on my YouTube videos like hating. And generally it's like 99% of the time, it's always a chick who's already over 30, past her prime and kind of missed the parade, right? And she wants to shoot the messenger. But you have to understand, girl, this is just the way it is. It's not me saying it, it's just me explaining how sexual market value works, right? How nature plays out, right? This is why when it comes to females who are under the age of 30, ideally under the age of 25, if, you, if we really want to be honest here, that have the power to date up and don't need to date down, okay? They have the power to date up and they don't need to date down. And it's not until they hit their 30s that they start to recognize that they no longer have the options that they once did just five years earlier, right? Just five years earlier, they, they are lacking those same options and they're not able to attract the same level of high value guys that they were able to in the past, okay? And this is why once the girl starts hitting her 30s, guess what? She is no longer dating up, she is now dating down. And this is why you will get a lot of betas, a lot of blue pill simps, who will come to the rescue when these girls, when these former hotties hit their 30s, their 40s, and their 50s and rescue them, right? And then they'll think that, you know, they just like won the lotto or something like that. It's like, oh, I finally got her. I finally got the hot girl. Finally, Ugh, I got the hot girl. But what that dude doesn't realize is she doesn't really have the options that she once did back in her youth, this is why she is now settling for you. And I've done a coaching video on this, talking about how girls under 30 can exercise their hypergamy and get the guys that they want, but after the age of 30, she has to settle, okay? She has to settle for the beta provider, the beta provisioner, the guy who's going to be nice, stable, be able to take care of her kids, because a lot of times these girls end up being single moms, right? You'll find that a lot of former hotties over 30 are in fact, single moms, right? And who is the dad of that kid? I've told you guys this before. He's Chad Jr., right? That's Chad's kid. So basically, now if you save this girl in her 30s and beyond her 40s, God forbid, right? You're basically taking care of Chad's kids, right? The alphas that she was banging in her 20s that she did not settle for, even those guys, a lot of those guys she kicked in the balls too because she figured like, oh, I keep going up and up, I could get more and more and more, right? And it's just not the way things work. So this is why when I do get females messaging me, asking me for advice, I tell them, hey, you know, you're still in your late teens, early 20s, I would start focusing on finding a high value guy that you could go the distance with, right? That will be strong, that will be good for you, be a good match for you, share your same values, your same beliefs, and lock it up. That's ideally what you want to do or you could take the other route that you know 
that a lot of uh, a lot of girls these days have bought into thanks to feminism where they're like, oh, my career comes first. My career comes first. I don't need a man. I don't need a man. And then they hit their 30s and then they realize like, shit, I'm lonely. I do want a man. I do want a guy who's going to be there. And then they go out there and try to get a man and then they realize they don't have the power. They're not able to yield the same type of power that they once were able to just five, ten years ago. And this is why she begins to date down after the age of 30. So understand that guys. When a girl is under the age of 30, she will only date up, go higher and higher on the social scale as far as dating options go. But once she turns 30, she'll realize that, oh, there is a ceiling, right? There's a ceiling. We can't break the glass ceiling, right? She'll, she'll realize there's a glass ceiling, can't break it. And then she's gonna have to start dating down. Okay, she's gonna start dating down to try to find just some guy who will come home at night, some guy who won't be like banging other hotties behind her back, some guy who will actually return her messages, some guy who won't be out there at the venues four to five times per week, right? She just wants a guy who will come home to help her take care of little Joey, right? Chad Jr., <laughs> right? She needs somebody for that and she knows just from experience, those alpha bad boys that she was banging in her 20s, those guys, Sure ain't gonna stay home with her to take care of those kids, even though they're his. She knows she needs like some sucker beta provisioner to come in and help her. And this is why after the age of 30, she begins to date down, okay? She begins to date down. Even if she doesn't have kids, if she's one of the rare, like childless former hotties over 30 that are wandering around out there and she doesn't have any kids of her own, she is still going to have to date down and settle, okay? She's going to have to settle a bit for what she can get. She's generally going to settle for a guy who is going to be more stable financially, job-wise. He's not going to be getting fired every week, right? Like a lot of these chads were. He's not going to be bumming money off of her. He's not going to be bumming rides off of her. He's not going to be trying to live with her rent-free. He's not going to be using her car or using her. You know, instead, she's going to find a nice, safe guy who will be there for her because she's gonna be tired of the you know, shenanigans of all of these chads that she dated in her 20s, even though she will still fantasize about them, okay? Make no mistake about that. These girls, they could be with you as the beta provisioner, but she will still fantasize about those guys from time to time, right? I have a lot of ex-girlfriends who are now with a beta provisioner and uh, I can bet a million they're still fantasizing about our old times, all of our trips we used to take and everything else. But uh, good for her that you know she found some guy who's gonna take care of her. Understand guys, women under 30 never date down, they only date up. After the age of 30, she really has no choice but to date down. And this is why you see these girls settle for these less attractive, fatter, older, less income providing. Maybe they don't have as good of a job as guys that she could have got in her 20s. If she was dating some successful guys, she dated like a stockbroker, a lawyer. She can't get those guys anymore, right? At least not guys at that level. She will have to settle for a guy who's older, fatter, maybe has kids of his own, makes less money. The funny thing is for guys, when we are in our 20s, when we're under 30, for a lot of us, we do have to date down, right? We have to date down just because the girls who are our peers, who are our same age, right? Those girls are dating all of the high value guys, all of the alpha bad boys, all of the chads, and we're kind of stuck having to settle for what we can get. And then after the age of 30, when our sexual marketplace value goes up, right, when our value tends to go up with the more money we make, the more financially stable we become, the more mature we become, we're able to begin to date up, right? So when we are under 30 as men, uh, we have to date down many times. Not all the time, but many times we have to date down. When we start to hit our prime, our peak, then we can start dating up. We can start dating younger, hotter, more attractive females. That's the way nature set it up. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> As Michelle Obama says, right? It is what it is. So that's all I'm going to say for today's coaching video. Until next time, this is M from the 33 Secrets. Do not forget to smash that like button below. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. 
Okay, more importantly guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. When you're subscribed, you get all of my uploads fresh as I upload them, so you won't have to search YouTube for them. And sometimes YouTube even removes a fresh upload that I just did. And for you guys who are subscribed, you're able to watch it before it gets taken down. But guys who are not subscribed, they don't get it, and then you start messaging me like, hey, where's the video? How can I get it? I'm like, it's gone, <laughs> right? It's gone, YouTube took it. So this is why you wanna make sure you're subscribed. So please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And for all you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content that I'm teaching you even further, the best way to support me is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I am teaching guys just like you, yep, just like you, how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I am talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students who are in my program, Seven Months of Mastery, are approaching and closing every single week all over the world. And I kid you not, we are doing this all over the world, no matter what virus is going on in the world, no matter what type of racial havoc is going on in the world, protests, riots, any crazy shit that's going on, we are still out there crushing it and making things happen. Okay, so if you wanna get into seven months to mastery, this is the absolute best way to support my work. And right now it's only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons, just $1. And all you need to do to get signed up is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.